Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Eclipse on Microsoft Windows. So the first thing we need to do is download Eclipse. So we can go to the Eclipse website, eclipse.org. So in my browser, I already have a little shortcut set up that'll take us to eclipse.org. Now, once we're here, this is the main Eclipse website or the main Eclipse homepage. And what I'd like to do is move over to the right hand side. There's a download button. I'd like to go ahead and click this download button so it can take me to the downloads page. All right, cool. So now we're at the downloads page. Uh, they have a lot of different distributions of Eclipse. You want to make sure that you choose the right one. So if we scroll down the page here, I'll show you that we want to make use of the Java EE package. All right, so that's the one that's listed here, Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. That's the one that we want. It's very important that you select this distribution because it has built-in support for Java web applications. All right, so over on the far right, you can go ahead and download it. So I have a 64-bit Windows operating system here. I'll go ahead and select the link and it'll take me to the list of download options here. So again, this is one intermediate step, but you basically just go over to the left-hand side and choose that download link. And this will actually start downloading Eclipse to your computer. So they'll prompt us, uh, we'll say save, and this will actually kind of start the download process. And then at the bottom, you'll see your browser will start downloading it. Um, this will take a while to download depending on your internet speed. Um, I'll come back once the download is complete. All right, so the download's complete. Now we need to unzip Eclipse. So I'm gonna open up my Windows Explorer. I'm gonna move into the downloads directory. This is where the file was actually downloaded. So in downloads, there's a file here called Eclipse JEE, depending on the version number that you have. So that's the file that was just downloaded from the Eclipse website. And what I'd like to do is unzip this file. So I can do a right click, I'll say extract all. And now I need to tell it where to extract Eclipse or install Eclipse. So here, I'm just gonna use the C drive. So C colon backslash. So it's gonna install it to the root of the C drive and it's gonna install it in a folder called Eclipse. So once you're happy with the C colon backslash, you can click extract. And actually you can install it wherever you'd like, but here just to keep things simple, I'll put it at the C drive. All right, great. So now we've extracted it to the C drive. So I'll go over to a local disk C drive and there's a new folder here called Eclipse. That's where the uh, code was placed. And I can move in here and there and there's an uh, Eclipse application with the little icon there. And I can double click this and it'll, this will actually run Eclipse. And it'll start up Eclipse and uh, it'll start running for us. Oh, and I forgot there's one thing. Uh, Eclipse will always prompt you to select a workspace. <laughs> so the workspace is basically a folder where you'll store your actual source code or projects. You can give it any name you want and you can place it at any location that you want on your file system. Okay, great, now Eclipse will really start running and uh, we should see the welcome screen real soon now. Okay, great, so here's our welcome screen. So they have uh, an overview, samples, tutorials, what's new, so on. Um, at this point, I always like to make sure that I'm using the correct version or I downloaded the right version, the Eclipse Java EE IDE. Again, we need to make sure we have the Java EE version because it has built-in support for Java web applications. All right, great. So you can go ahead and close this welcome window here. Just click the X at the uh, top left. And there it is. So this is the basic Eclipse. Uh, right now there's no projects, uh, no servers. It's pretty plain vanilla right now. And don't worry, as we go through the course, we'll create projects, we'll create web applications and deploy them to our servers. Great job. 